Hey guys, this is Nate with another five minute analyst video. Um, what we're going to do today is actually take the next step and make the work that we've done um, uh, interactive and available to other people. Right now you have an interactive map that is sitting on software that is on your laptop or desktop and that doesn't lend itself to uh, other people leveraging it, right? Besides uh, you walking around showing people how to do it on your, on your computer, that's great, but then scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to publish this to a website. So what I've done is I went ahead and styled the five mile radius. That was the, the one that we didn't do last time. Uh, I just made it like this light orange color um, that you can see here. I also moved the layers around so that locations were always on top. And I renamed uh, the layers so that they made a little bit more sense, right? We know that this map is about Anytime Fitness and its market areas, so I just called it locations, five mile radius, five minute drive time, um, because it was redundant, everything said anytime fitness. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plugin that will allow us to turn this map into uh, the supporting files that we need to publish a web page. So one of the cool things that I was telling you guys about earlier were the plugins, and that's how we got the open street maps. So if you go back to plugins, there is a plugin called QGIS to web. This is what we want. I've already installed it, but you go ahead and install it. It'll only take a second. Once it's installed, you come up here to web, QGIS to web, create web map, and here you are. So what this is, is a little interface that will allow you to set some parameters around the map that you're going to, that you're gonna build. So we have our layers up here. Um, right locations five mile radius five minute drive time we want to plot all of those this down here is your base map theme um, I typically always go with OSM it's the it's the most universal um, for most of the applications I have if you want to get fancy you could use some of these other ones but for right now I don't think we need to go in depth into that uh, so just going down this list exporter this is going to be the path that it exports to so I have a lot of my stuff going to this five minute analyst uh, folder keep things straight and then here you have mapping library location uh, minify geo json a lot of this other stuff doesn't matter for what we're doing right now and with scale and zoom same thing you could get fancy um, and limit the the amount that someone can zoom in or zoom out but for right now i don't think we need to go there um, interesting points here though you want to add a layers list right so they can turn on and off layers and then I always like to do highlight on hover and show pop-ups and what that will do as you'll see in a second is now you can turn on and off the layers and when you hot when you scroll over something it's gonna tell you what you're looking at which is pretty cool so that from a user standpoint is going to be significantly more helpful than just guessing what this information is, right? Or you adding the information onto the map physically so you have text over everything. Uh, that would be very hard to consume. So I like the way this is set up. I like that I have my, um, my layers list here. I like that I can hover over it. I like it tells me what, uh, what's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this and it'll export to the folder location that I selected. So this runs through pretty quickly and it doesn't, you know, make a cool sound or pop anything up and say, hey, I'm done. So just know that you got to go look for it once that little window closes. So let's go check it out. Here's my five minute analyst folder. And this is the folder um, that it puts the map in. If you know anything about websites, you know that your index file is actually the HTML that gets presented onto the screen. That's what people are actually going to see. These other folders are supporting folders or references for this page. So this is the one that you want to click on to see what other people are going to see. Look at that. We've got a map. It's on a web page. Granted, it's localhost right now, but still on a web page. And is it interactive? It's interactive. So if I wanted to zoom in, now I can understand that this is the five minute drive time for the Brooksville Anytime Fitness. Or if I don't want to look at drive time and I want to look at the five mile radius, 
now I can see this is the five mile radius for the same exact location. And that's pretty powerful information. So we have that, and now what do we do? Um, so this next part is going to assume a lot about what um, your capabilities are from a website standpoint and a server standpoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video right now uh, just in case you're not ready to take that next step, then I'll continue on the next video and actually show you how to publish something to your website.